In this video, I'm going to solder together the Tiny Heart PCB. And to do that, I need the PCB, a capacitor, five resistors, 20 LEDs, and an ATtiny 13A. So I'm gonna start with the LEDs. And I start by putting a small amount of solder onto one side of each of the LED pad pairs. Once I have a small amount of solder onto each pad pair, I open the LEDs and I set them on the table. Each of these LEDs has a small marking showing which way is top and which side is bottom. And there's a small marking on this PCB. So you just make sure that this matches this symbol. And then I remelt the solder and put each one in place. When all of the LEDs are wrong side up, I just pick them up with the moisture on my finger and drop them again. Okay, and when all of the LEDs have one side soldered, I go ahead and I solder the other side. So once both sides of each LED are soldered, I go through and I look and make sure that each side has a good connection. So it seems like these two aren't touching on the bottom. The solder isn't connecting to the LED. So I just take my soldering iron and I reflow the solder so that it makes a better connection. Once both sides of each LED are touched up and it looks like they have a good connection, then I flip it over and I put on the resistors. And just like the LEDs, I start by putting a small amount of solder on each one of the pad pairs. Then I open up the package and I set them on the table. Resistors don't have a polarity so it doesn't matter which side is up and which side is down. So they could be white side up or black side up on the PCB. And they don't have a side that they need to go on. So you just need to connect both sides with them. However, I recommend putting them black side up because there's a small number printed on there. And that number tells you what size resistance you're using. If you want to make the LEDs brighter or dimmer, you need to change that resistor. So it's easier if you know what size it is before you un or without unsoldering. So just like with the LEDs, I start 
by reliquifying the solder. Okay, and here I'm gonna check that they're all lying flat. And if you look, this middle one is sticking up quite a bit, so I need to fix that before I move on. I'm just going to set the tweezers on here and remelt the solder and push it down a little bit. And then it'll lie flatter. Same with this one. So now I'm going to check to make sure these are all flat again. And now they're a lot better. So then I just add solder to the other side and check to make sure I have a good connection. And in this case, a lot of them aren't very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and remelt the solder and touch it up. better. So the next part that I add is the capacitor. Capacitors don't have a polarity either. Well, these capacitors don't. And last, I add the AT Tiny. And this is the only part that can mess everything up if you put it in on the wrong side. So on this PCB, there's a tiny star in this corner and that matches the first pin. And the first pin on this um, tiny is noted by this notch that's on this side. Sometimes on some PCBs, there'll be a circle or uh, um, microcontrollers, there'll be a circle near that pin or there'll be a notch at the bottom So with the microcontroller, I take this, I put a little bit of solder on there beforehand, and then I reflow that solder and check to make sure that all the pins are aligned. And the pins are aligned, but there's a lot more pin on this side than is exposed on that side. So it's easier if it's more centered. So I just remelt it and move it a little tiny bit. And that's better, and it's still centered. So then I go ahead and I solder. And because I soldered this pin the first time, I'm gonna solder these first before I solder the other side. That way I don't accidentally melt the pin that's holding everything on. Okay, now I just check to make sure that none of the pins are shorted to each other because, again, this is the only part that if it's shorted or has a problem, it really causes, it can damage the whole PCB and make it unrepairable. Well, the PCB itself would be repairable, it's just the microcontroller wouldn't be. Okay, and this side isn't well connected on any of the pins. There's not too much solder, so I can just go through and solder all of them at once. And it seems like this pin is still standing up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of solder there to make a good connection. Okay, so that seems better. And now what we need to do is attach the wires and I have this one that I've already assembled in a previous video. It's actually the one that had a fabrication error. And as you can see, it turns on and works now. Um, so I'm gonna just show you how to make a string of these. So first I need to solder the 
five volt wire, the red wire, onto the five volt pad. And the ground wire onto the ground pad. And then we check to make sure that the five volt and the ground aren't um, shorted to each other because that could also damage our PCB. So it looks okay. And then for this PCB, since it's going to be the end of our string, I'm going to use the middle ones. And again, we put ground to ground. We put five volts to five volts, and I'm actually gonna move this over just to avoid problems later, because it's possible that these two could move and get shorted. And then before I turn this on, I'm just going to quickly double check this um, microcontroller because, again, it's the only part that if it's shorted, it has a problem. And I don't see any shorts anywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And the first thing that we see is that the lights all light up with the test code. And then shortly after that, the lights start blinking in a random pattern. And so we know it all works. Now, if when this is running, you notice that two of the LEDs are always turning on at the same time, that means that one of them is backward. So you need to unsolder the one that's got the wrong polarity and turn it around. Or you just unsolder it and use one of the spare LEDs included in the kit to replace it. It's probably easier just to replace the LED. Um, so that is how you assemble the tiny heart. And I hope that helps when you're assembling this kit. And yeah, and I hope you enjoy playing with it.